Lord is ours today.
that uh, we just stand quick and tell about our name and show how joyful we are today with our smile. Okay? Hello, brothers and sisters. I am Sister Marilyn. Brother Archie. Brother Jeffo. Brother Joe. I have a Sister Lynn. Brother Paul. Brother Alger. Sister Eva. I love Brother, Brother Joseph. Brother Jun. Uh, Brother Lynn. Okay. Don't forget the names of our brethren and the faces because we may meet them again along the way. Amen. So there's a reason why we are the ones who are we are our heart is beating not the same, it's beating like the heart of Jesus now. And so we are one as so one family. So now let's continue with our worship as it is written in the book of um, Psalm 145 by David. Let me read some in English and in Filipino again. One generation comments your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on the wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. Sa Tagalog, sa alimang lahi ang iyong ginawa ay paporihan. Ihahayag nila ang mga gawa mo ng mga pangyarihan. Ang karangalan mo at pagkatakilay ipamalitan. At isasaysay ko ang mga gawa mo na kakangatanga. Ang mga gawa mo ay mga pangyarihan ipamamalitan sa lahat ng tao. At isasabihin, ikaw ay takila. Kasi sa part na to, we will give worship to the Lord by proclaiming what the Lord has done in our lives over the week. Amen. First, why? Because it is just right. Because, second, it's a command of the Lord that we give thanks in all circumstances. And also, let's encourage one another from what we have been through victoriously because that, the God that we serve helped us. Amen. So the Holy Pulpit is open for the three of us to encourage us with what the Lord has done in our lives. To test it. Because uh, last night, uh, another house received the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. And it's a Bible study from the house of our sister Yance. So, Sister Yance is a newly graduated day and age. And uh, praise God because the Lord moved her. The Pagamin the Lord and uh, her life has been used to reach out his uh, roommates, the owner of the house. And last night, it was 10, ten people who received the Lord as their as the Lord Savior, as in Jesus Christ. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, I am encouraging each one of us that uh, allow us to be used by the Lord to invite more people because, you know, those people that we invited, they are like, we are like making, I mean, we are like storing up treasures in heaven. Amen? So, to God be all the glory, and I pray the same thing will happen here in the world way. And let us all keep on praying about it. Amen. So I could have your Lord. I just want to give you a sign that 
magpatuloy ako sa'yo. Then, uh, 6.30? 6.30, tumawag sa akin sa sister Emma. Na, ayun nga, uh, pupunta kami dito sa one way. Actually, sinabi niya sa akin yun before, uh, one week ago, na kung gusto kong uh, sumama sa sa ito nga. Which is nakalimutan ko. Wala, wala talaga sa isip. So, na nag-inip ako during the time, yung after ko ng prayer at prayer block, na nag-inip ako. And then, sa panag-inip ko is, I don't know kung what, anong meaning nun, na kumakanta ako, kumakalak pa. Which is, ito na nga sa mga video. Thank you. Salamat at uh, I've been here. And I was blessed. And salamat sa inyo. Salamat.
my bookers, so I'm very happy in working with her. <laughs>
Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Father, may you receive our praise and worship as a pleasing aroma into your throne, O God. And Lord, this is we lift up, Lord God, all of our adoration to you, all of our thanksgiving to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, all the children of God will say, Amen. 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 Okay. 
how how sharp your your word is, your sword is, meaning to say how sharp your your confidence is in the word of the Lord. That if I will do this, I will be able to live over this world as the as the song that we sang earlier said, the cross before me, the world behind me. Meaning to say you are over and you are uh, beyond the world because we are not in this world. We are not for this world. Okay? So, in conduct, let's move on in conduct. To live yes. It may not turn out the way that we want it to be, 
But the Lord said, it is my way and not your ways. And then, if we are only going to think like Christ, as He has given us the Christ-like mind and not to become a Christ-like mind, we will know that in everything that we do, in all things work together for the good of what? Of who? Those who love Him. So we always have to love the Lord and obey His command, not because of legalism, not because this is the command, but because this is Jesus Christ. And everything in our life should be about Jesus Christ. And purity. Okay, we all know that before we became a Christian, we are like a filthy rocks. We have done a lot of things, especially if you are young, if you are still young. Madami sa atin dito na hindi lang alam na we just don't know beyond our testing, beyond our knowledge that their testimony is really something we will not believe that they are who they are right now. Living testimony is Pastor Archie, another living testimony is Queer Earth. So, and really, there is something in me that every time I will be hearing people really from darkness, I will be thinking, Lord, what if I would, what if, ganun din ako, kasi their life testimony has been really powerful in moving people. I uh, just want to share during that time that we are heard, without lifting we are heard, but lifting up the glory of the Lord, I invited my co-workers uh, in our Bible study at home. And really, what marks them is how the Lord turned around the life of Puya Earth. The saying, really, God is good in everything. If you will see the life that we have heard that back then is really a life that is worse. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't like to be with that someone who will always be in jail, who would, you know, who would push you to something. Hindi mo siya makikita na kapakipakinaba or beneficial, beneficial sa buhay mo. But the Lord has been using that testimony from how the Lord saved him from darkness and put him in the kingdom of the Lord. They removed the people. Actually, they cried. They cried because of the testimony of how good God is in the life of everyone. And we should be like that. Well, how? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, we, before we became a Christian, we are always, we have been in pure. Especially, I for one, I am not that pure. Even if I grew up in a Christian family, I have secrets of my own. The Lord and I only knows it until, until such time that that secret, I for one, I have fear to do it once again. I, I have been fearing to do it once more. Why? Right? Because I love the Lord and I don't want Him to be disappointed. There are times that I've been tempted, but God is good, that He will always remind me that this is who you are right now. And against your purity, the devil will tempt you towards certain sins, convincing you that you can tolerate them without facing consequences. But guys, let us be reminded that our God is a God who is always there, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipotent. He is the God who doesn't change. He is the God who is always there. And He is the God. Before you know that you will do it, He already knows it. Knowing the only question is between you. Isaiah 59, 1 to 2. Isaiah 59, 1 to 2. Isaiah 59, 1 to 2. Because of your sins, 
he has turned away and will, will not listen anymore. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. That it cannot save rather. Or hear or his ear dull that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. So we need to say, mga kapatid, before we already know that we are separated from the Lord, it has been a history to us. Right? And we've been hearing it every day. That because of our sin, we are we, we were separated. But if you will look on verse 1, the Lord has a promise that his hands are not short to reach us and his ear is not done not to hear us. So all we have to do is confess our sins because you know, the Lord knows that we are sinning. By nature, human nature, it is a flesh full of sin. But God only wants us to have the contrite heart. Contrite heart meaning to say we acknowledge our sins. We know our sins. We don't hide sins from Him. And one more thing is we acknowledge, we acknowledge our weakness. Because without acknowledging our weakness, it will become a foothold of the enemy against us. And telling us, destroying our focus. I remember, uh, again, from God, right? Uh, sabi niya, um, whenever that the enemy will whisper to him, this is you, this is you, this is you, he will say, thank you, bye. Because... With that iniquities that separated him from the Lord is the same thing na nagbalik sa kanya sa Lord. How? For seeing the glory of the Lord in his life, how he has been changed. Mga kapatid, just to share, when he, I think when he read the Bible about pray for the, pray for the sick, it is 900 times that he prayed for strangers that was never healed. But he, had, he has this perseverance to pray for the healed. Uh, to pray for healing, to pray for the sick to be healed. Why? Because he knows that this is the will of the Lord. And once again, he goes back to love. And especially, I, this is an encouragement, mga kapatid. Um, I tried it once, once, with uh, with my uh, co-worker, Ate Shet. Ate Shirley has a sister who has a breast cancer. Um, has a sister who's suffering a breast cancer. Really, I don't know what the Lord is actually right now, but what I know is currently the sister is still medicating. But the moment that I prayed for her through for the, for her sister through her, there is something that I know that I have imparted to her, and I believe that is the moment that touches her heart to listen to me. Because the day that I asked him, I asked her rather to accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. We just parted with, like, ano pa ang difference na? What is the difference of your religion to the Catholic, to the she in the Catholic? I just told her this is the difference in the Lord. I think the are the same follower of Jesus Christ, but the way that we follow Jesus Christ be first. Because, um, you know, in our church, we give the service, everyone is a worker to lead souls, to share Jesus. I believe the same with you, but if you will go deeper into the Bible, you will know the difference. And I pertain to the eye. But definitely, we all love Jesus Christ, and then it's so on and so forth. And then, napanta na kami sa sa three minutes gospel. It was like one for oh boy, one forty na, and then the three minutes I made sure kasi nag-exit ako kasi may mga interruptions like that. So one forty for I think they allow me to to take this opportunity. Are you willing to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And she said yes. Without me knowing that, I mean, yet na pala siya, you know, kapatid, yung, yung heart na, na na-impart mo si Jesus sa kanya. The next week, nawatan na siya sa Bible study. And, ah, uh, until ngayon, tinukwento niya pa rin, <laughs> yung kung paano siya na-touch. And, yung, yun yung lagi na natin alala ko niya, let us all be reminded that, yes, we are singing, but let us not allow the scheme of devil to take our focus away and to destroy our calling from 
similar because everyone of us has a general calling to share Jesus to everyone. It is not about you if you are worthy or not, but of course it is a factor of your testimony. The testimony that you have is a factor of how you are going to convince people that Jesus is good and Jesus is the Lord and Savior. But really, it is not really you. I believe even even the high even even our leaders commit mistakes sometimes. That it is just the way they admit their mistakes. That is why until now the anointing, even if they are singing, is there. We have to hate the unrighteousness for us to be anointed in spirit and in truth. Because we will always be reminded at the same and at the same and as the time goes by, you will see yourself very far from where you have been. Just to share. Before before uh JC and I were talking like um last last year, okay, let's I will go home, we will we will go here, go there. Kami lang dalawa. Meaning to say, it is a quality time for both of us. And then, when the time that that that, that I was informed that I would be a Bible study leader, or uh, Bible study group with Ate Jo, it is the time that, Lord, I have to really separate myself. Uh, ito na, wala na dapat. It is all about you and me. I will be hating sin. Sakto-sakto yung mga mo, mo, months before noon na ito about hating sin para may love ka sa Lord sa isaya yun so it's, it's, it happened and then one time I do, uh, napag-usapan namin namin ni JC yung pag-uwi so sabi ko sa kanya ay doon na go home sabi ko na sabi niya why kasi natutakot ako na pagkasama kita magkakasala ako that's what I told him and I really praise the Lord because He has given me the fear and really the fear of the Lord is the thing And I, I don't know, after noon, I already have the, the courage to tell you that uh, this is what I chose to be. This is my devotion now. I am giving myself to the Lord. And if you will not come with me, sorry. Good. And to cut it short, I was like, he chose his faith and I chose mine. And God is good because he is in work with every faith. So I got so... Um, brothers and sisters, let us all have, let us always wear the armor of God. Armor of God in a way that we always have to be, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that we will always have to be rooted in the word. Because no matter what combination the world will give us, still the joy of choosing Jesus Christ in my life. <laughs> we'll always be there. There are trials, pero masaya, masarap. The Lord will do something para mo comfort ka. <laughs> and <laughs> stand firm on your feet. Walang, walang problema kahit iwan ka ng iba. Wala. And I believe, lahat ng iniwan mo, ng dahil sa faith mo, will one day follow the trend that you have chosen. <laughs> <laughs> and the purity, <laughs> the purity, the purity that the Lord will give me is incompatible. It is not something that this world measures. Yes, like a we love, pero, <laughs> pero, alam mo yung alam mo lang saan ka, and you will be purely in love with the Lord. Oh, love. And it is nice to be in love with the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, that's all. Let us pray and seal this word of God with His blessing. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for this uh, short encouragement to us. Panginoon, allow us to become pure, to be worthy of the gospel, and to be standing firm in your faith, and to be rooted in your words. So thank Father God, your word is our strength. Your joy is our strength, Father. Thank you, Lord God, for being loving us, to just in justifying us, Father God, in everything that we do. Truly, with you, there is no more condemnation, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Pastor Archie. <laughs> Can you tell your seatmate 
Sabihin mo, I am blessed because you are here. At di ba kapo, you will come back next Friday. So, you know, thank you Sister Lyra. The very powerful message from God. You know, the reality, tayong lahat naman ay laging busy before. Lalo na yung iba, talagang ah, mas pinipili ang mas maraming part-time. Nangihinayang na umaten sa part-time. O naka-absent, nangihinayang dahil wala kikikitain doon. But you know mga kapatid, ang totoo, minsan part-time ka ng part-time pero wala ka nang gagali. Minsan makakabalita ka na lang dahil hindi mo part-time better than God yung anak mo o yung pamilya mo nagkasakit ng hospital, yung pinita mo, minsan kulang pa sa pambayad sa hospital. Pero kung sinunod mo yung utos ng Panginoon na umatin ka sa gawain niya, malamang hindi mangyayari yung mga bagay na mangyayari na yun. Because tinuna natin ang Panginoon. Always remember, seek first yung ating Panginoon. Unahin natin ang Panginoon sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay natin. Then the blessing will follow upon us. Sabi dito, conclusion sa Sassler ni Sister Lyra. Sa Colossians 3.2 Basahin ng matibili ng balakas, sabi dyan. Sino yung nakakita? Colossians 3.2 Mm -hmm. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. Mm -hmm. Set your mind on things above, not on early things. Iset daw natin yung ating puso at isipan sa Panginoon, hindi sa kamunduhan. Amen? Kasi pag ang labi na iniisip ay ang Panginoon, ang Panginoon yung puso natin ay pupuno ng pag-ibig na nagbubula sa ating Panginoon. Then, sabi din dyan, sa, sa 2 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 4.2, 2 Timothy 4.2, sabi dyan, 2 Timothy 4.2, preach the word, be prepared, prepared in season and out of season, correct, Rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Amen. Sabi, preach the word. Be prepared. So, prepare na ba tayo? So, bisa na be prepared tayo sa mga bagay na hindi nakatalubog sa Panginoon. How about we will preparing to our living God? Amen. Prepare in season or out of season. Misan kasi nangyayari, nagiging pag-atayad sa, pag sa gawain ng Panginoon ay seasonal. Misan, parang sinasabing seasonal, pag-birthday lang, doon lang a-attend. Or pag-visit visa, may kailangan sa Panginoon, doon lang a-attend. Pero pag nakuha na yung trabaho, busy na sa trabaho, wala na si Lord. Seasonal, pagka lang lugbok na sa problema, doon lang tayo lalapit sa Panginoon. Kaya nga sabi sa topic, this is a lala, yung uh, armor of salvation, lagyan yung suot. Then sabi po dito, correct. Nagpapakorek tayo kung tayo na mga mali ng landas. Nagpaparebuke tayo sa mga nagtuturo sa atin. At sabi, and encourage with great patience and carefully instruction. Amen? Ang Panginoon, yung tulad tayo kung paan tayo matuto. Binibigyan na sa atin, ayaw pa natin ibukas yung puso natin. Amen? Kaya nga, my dear brethren in Christ, this morning, kung meron kumahad lang sa inyo, sa ating lahat, sa paglilingkod o paglapit sa Panginoon, 